Dr. Jeremy Weiss here. I'm founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders like the founders of P90X, Baby Einstein, Atari, many more, how they overcome big challenges in life and business. This is part of the Skubana e-commerce mastery series where top sellers and experts teach you what really works to boost your e-commerce business. Skubana is a software platform to manage your entire e-commerce operation. Today, we have Kenny Kane. He's been coding since the age of 13. He began his career as a pharmacy tech at age 15. And Kenny is COO and co-founder of Stupid Cancer. And he oversees e-commerce, content creation, and much more. He's helped develop corporate relationships such as Siemens, General Motors, Seattle Genetics, and many more. Kenny, thanks for joining me. Thank you for having me. You know, since it's the Skubana e-commerce mastery series, my question is, we talked a lot about different e-commerce solutions and things. What best actual tips should we leave people right now to increase their e-commerce business? Yeah. I would say try to find, if, you, if you're looking to grow, and this is what I did, um, find the intersection of minimum orders and profit. Uh, what I mean by that is if it costs $10 a t-shirt for 47 of them, but if you order 48, they go down to $5, order the 48th one, but don't necessarily order you know, up to the next jump without making the next jump. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, we've certainly tested and tried things that have flopped, mm-hmm. and there are times when I've you know, been very grateful that I didn't say, hey, this is the order when I'm going to order, you know, I'm going to order so that the shirts are priced at $3, which might translate to, you know, tons of shirts. Um, So definitely find those minimums. Uh, Time is money, so don't spend time on anything that could be done better through an automated process, whether it's something like using a ship station versus logging into a platform directly especially if you're selling on omnichannel, if you can have all your information go to one place so that you're not having all these different tabs open, it's really efficiency and it's low cost. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, if you do something long enough, you'll look back and you'll you'll see a a successful trend. And you just have to be patient. Mm -hmm. So as far as the e-commerce journey so far, what has been one of your proudest moments? One of the proudest moments. Uh, it was definitely in the early days, and there's been subsequent ones. Um, but I remember seeing people posting pictures on Instagram and feeling great. Uh, I had a slide of Instagram shots that I just pulled down in one of my talks that I gave recently. And y- you look at the people's expressions and You know, whether they have the shirt on and they're just like pointing to stupid cancer, it really gives people permission to reclaim some of their uh, current situation. And and our brand promise on some level is permission to be pissed, permission to own your cancer diagnosis. So if, if I see people wearing a shirt that I had a hand in helping to get to them, it's just awesome. Mm And you know, people are jealous of them that they have it and they want them, and it's just it's just great to be a part of it and helping yeah. drive the whole whole movement. Yeah, and then you have won Nonprofiteer of the Year. I did in 2013. What is what is that exactly? So there's a group called the YNPN, the Young Nonprofit Professionals Network. Mm. Uh, we have a New York City chapter. So there was an open call for nominations of people doing uh, cool or interesting or unique things. Yeah. And I happened to be nominated, and then uh, they decided that I was the worthy victor. That's amazing. Uh, yeah, so I've since met some of the other nonprofit of the years, and you know we're we're all a little crazy for being in the charity world, but um, yeah, everybody is super motivated, super driven. Yeah. And uh, I actually sit on the board now of YNP and NYC, so cool. it's fun to yeah, it's fun to have a hand in that as well, and meet people uh, in different verticals within. Our nonprofit space. Yeah. Well, Kenny, thank you so much. It's been hugely valuable, and I want to be the first one to thank you for all your e-commerce knowledge and also for everything you do uh, at Stupid Cancer. 
for everyone. So thank, thank you. Thank you so much. It's a blast. Yeah. Thanks, Kenny. See ya.